These two systems that we're gonna do next are kind of the staple of the industry. Um, three hole bar and I call it a five hole bar, but it's a six hole bar. Um, been around probably ever since we switched from rope to web guys. This is how the industry went. A little explanation between the two. The idea behind this system here is that it accomplishes close to the same as a three hole, but its footprint is much narrower so that you can get in and out of tents. If you have entryways, you have marquees, attachment tents, you have less footprint here, ergo less tripping hazards, okay? The second reason that the plates are coming more and more popular, much, much easier to store, much, much easier to transport. These things stack like crazy. These things stack until you hit the first cigarette butt in the driveway and then they all tip over in your truck, okay? Two stakes and three stakes, close to the same numbers. Three stakes and five stakes, close to the same numbers. All right, so once again, our business is built on labor. Anywhere you can save costs on labor, you're gonna make more money. How long does it take to drive two stakes versus three or three stakes versus five? Multiply that by 30 or 40 positions on the tent, significant time savings, okay? 1,500 preload. All right, 1,500 pound preload. The other thing you're gonna notice with the three hole bar and five hole bar is when they fail, they fail in a heartbeat. They don't just pop up a little bit, they pop up and then they take off, okay? So once these fail, there's no holding back. With the ones that are perpendicular to a tent, you can have failure, but it will probably still be there. A lot of these, when you have failure, they're gone. Four thousand. We did get a bit of movement. Okay, not one bit of movement. This particular thing in this type of soil here, four to six thousand pounds is what this is going to go before it breaks. Okay.